This is Pastor Mike Philibert, Senior Pastor here at Heritage Presbyterian Church here on this first day after Daylight Saving Time. I'm still trying to get my eyeballs open and get on time. Well, we're here for morning prayer today, and I want to say happy birthday to none other but the one, the only, Jim Pachta. Happy birthday, Jim. That was it. That's it for the celebration. We're going to pray for you in just a little bit. Uh, right now for morning prayer, as you know, we're working our way through the Trinity hymnal, just working a couple of verses from each hymn. And today we're at hymn 78, O oh, bless the Lord my soul. It's a meditation and a rendition of Psalm 103. We're just going to read verse 1, 3, and 5. O oh, bless the Lord my soul, let all within me join, and aid my tongue to bless his name, whose favors are divine. Tis he forgives your sins, tis he relieves your pain, Tis he that heals your sicknesses and makes you young again. He fills the poor with good. He gives the sufferers rest. The Lord has judgments for the proud and justice for the oppressed. Amen. That was, oh, bless the Lord my soul, hymn number 78 in the Trinity hymnal. And now for our Bible reading, we're just working our way through 1 Corinthians. And we are right now at 1 Corinthians chapter 3. Verses 1 through 15. 1 Corinthians 3, 1 through 15. But I, brothers, could not address you as spiritual people, but as people of, of the flesh, as infants in Christ. I fed you with milk, not solid food, for you were not ready for it. And even now you are not ready, for you are still of the flesh. For while there is jealousy and strife among you, are you not of the flesh and behaving only in a human way? For when one says, I follow Paul, and another, I follow Apollos. Are you not being merely human? What then is Apollos? What is Paul? Servants through whom you believed, as the Lord assigned to each. I planted, Apollos watered, but God, God gave the growth. So neither he who plants nor he who waters is anything, but only God who gives the growth. He who plants and he who waters are one, and each will receive his wages according to his labor. For we are God's fellow workers, you are God's field, God's building, according to the grace of God given to me. Like a skilled master, master builder, I laid a foundation and someone else is building upon it. Let each one take care how he builds upon it. For no one can lay a foundation other than that which is laid, which is Jesus Christ. Now, if anyone builds on the foundation with gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, straw, each one's work will become manifest for the day. The day will disclose it because it will be revealed by fire. and The fire will test what sort of work each one has done. If the work that anyone has built on the foundation survives, he will receive a reward. If anyone's work is burned up, he will suffer loss, though he himself will be saved, but only as through fire. That was 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 1 through 15, just reminding us again that really all of our church's growth comes from the Lord, but also our work, uh, the way that we build and work is extremely important so that it honors the Lord. And that's kind of Paul's point there. And he'll go on from there in our reading tomorrow. That was 1 Corinthians 3, 1 through 15. Well, let's pray. Lord God in heaven, we are so grateful and rejoice with Jim Pocto, and this is his birthday, and we Pray that this will be a wonderful day, a day of celebrating, celebrating the fact that you bestowed upon him life, that you continue to sustain him day after day, week after week, month after month. And so we pray with him um, that as he looks back over his life, he will have nothing but thanksgiving and gratitude to give you an adoration. And we pray for this coming year that, Lord God, you would continue to prevail through him and use him as he counsels people. We ask you, Lord, that uh, you would fill him with your wisdom and that this coming year for him would be richer than it has been before in his growing in the grace and the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray for uh, our Sunday school teachers here at Heritage. We ask you, Lord, first we thank you for them. They are doing such an important work, uh, whether it's the adults or the kids. Lord, I'm so grateful for each and every one of them. And I pray that you would bless them in what they're doing and they would feel as if you are, they would feel you with them and enriching them. I pray for Steve and Cindy, Ting, David, Sue Ann, and Luke, and I ask you, and Hannah, and I'm going to ask you to watch over them, them all, and 
continue to provide for them good health and, and um, that this day and this coming week would be one rich with uh, joy and peace, uh, that they would uh, that they would find themselves growing richer and fuller in the fruit of the Spirit and love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, and self-control. We pray for Lieutenant Commander Nathan Hayes at Fort Devens, um, in uh, Fort Devens, um, 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 Maryland, I think it is. Um, I pray that you would bless him there with the Marines and the sailors as they return from their drills. I would ask you, Lord, the work that he's doing with the prisons uh, there, I would ask you, Father, to continue to guide him and lead him, empower him, strengthen him, that he may be a gospel presence to among all of those with whom he is working. Lord Jesus, you took the man who was born blind and you gave him sight that he never had. You took the woman who had been stooped over, hunched over, bound by Satan for 18 years, and you made her able to stand upright, restoring her life and liberating her. We ask you to look upon these that we bring to you. We pray for Cheryl, for Ben, for Vicki, and also for Stanley in Tanzania as he has sickle cell anemia. Lord, we would ask you to lift them, each and every one, from their troubles. Release them from the miseries of Satan and grant them a life of joy and service before you. And Lord Jesus, you took the sparse resources of five loaves and two fish. And from that impossibility, you satisfied sumptuously. We beg you to have mercy then upon those who have little to nothing those whose financial needs outdistance their resources. Lord, we know some. Hear us as we silently mention them before you now. Stretch their means, bringing their, their paucity to become prosperity and cause them to know it was you who provided for them lavishly. Lord Jesus, you wept at the grave of your friend Lazarus. You greatly troubled in your spirit. You had sympathy upon the widow of Nain. You had compassion upon the people who were like sheep without a shepherd. Take notice of those who are grieving losses, those who are alone, those who are without direction, those who are drifting along. We continue to pray for our friend Denise. Uh, now almost three months after Gary's uh, departure, we pray for others as well, Lord. We ask you to comfort them in ways that will cause them to know that you are their refuge and strength a very present help in trouble. For as the psalmist sang, when I thought my foot slips, your steadfast love, O Lord, held me up. When the cares of my heart are many, your consolations cheer my soul. Lord, we're grateful that you've heard us as we have prayed for Daniel Clark. We ask you that uh, you would continue to help him in the way of recovery. We also pray, Lord, for the families right now who have whose uh, uh, kids were pupils at a school and the teacher, along with their teachers who have just recently been kidnapped in Kaduna, Niger Nigeria. This is the fifth one since December. Dear God, protect those kids there. Protect the teachers, the schools that are there. Keep them from the banditos and, and the brigands, Lord God. And take these kids and these pupils and their teachers, Lord, and restore them and keep them safe and healthy in the midst of all of this. Lord, thank you that we can come to you in prayer. Thank you that you, we know that you hear us because you promise to hear us as we ask in Jesus' name. And bless us this day, each and every one, with uh, good health, sound minds, and cheerful hearts. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, friends, that was morning prayer on this 15th of March, Monday, the 15th of March, 2021. I'll be back tomorrow. We'll just pick up right where we left off in the in uh, uh, First Corinthians and keep plowing along. If you have prayer requests, Feel free to send them to me by message, or you can put them in the comments if you feel free to do that, and we will try to remember to, to uh, mention those in our prayers. Until tomorrow, the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace and believing that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.